Shalom Israel. I want to thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Children of Light Israelites. I hope you're blessed on this particular day. Um, and I want to say thank you for tuning in once again. So today, we're going to go over a particular topic. We're going to bring forth light. We're going to bring forth understanding. We're going to bring forth electromagnetic radiation, which is light, which is power. Okay, because through the scriptures, we get power. Through the word, we get entrusted with the power of the Most High. And so, today's teaching is going to be called To Know Thy Master's Will. Because we all have a singular will, or I would say personal will, that the Most High have instructed each and every one of us individually to do as his vessel. And we also have a will as a nation, as a whole, as a general of being mankind, period. So, we have to know thy master's will. We have to be willing to carry out thy master's will and to love the will of our master, which is Ahaya. So, first and foremost, I want to say all praises to Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya, Bahashem, Yacheya, Wahakodashi Ruaka, that's Father in the name of the Messiah and the Holy Spirit. Kal Hawad Wahalala Ahaya Asha Ahaya Bahashim Yacheya Wahakodashi Ruaka. All praises and glory to the Most High Power I am and the Holy Spirit and the Mashiach, which is the Messiah. Okay? Shema Yasha Allah Ahaya Allahaya Nawa Ahaya Aka. Shema Yasha Allah Ahaya, Allahaya Nawa Ahaya Aka. Shema Yasha Allah Ahaya, Allahaya Nawa Ahaya Aka. Hero Israel, the Most High Power is one. Okay? So, to know thy master's will, first and foremost, we're going to start off with Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17. That's Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17. Read. Wherefore be ye not unwise? But understanding what the will of Adonia is. Be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Adonia is. So, to not know the will of the Most High Power makes you foolish. It makes you unwise. Because we already know that the wisdom of this world is nothing compared to the wisdom of the Most High Power. All right, and the understanding. So if you don't understand your master's will, and you don't walk in that will, you have become fully professing yourself to be wise. All right? So Micah 6 and verse 8. Micah 6 and verse 8, because we have to understand what is his will. Okay, I'm going to show you what's his will, and I'm going to show you the, the contrast of those who do not follow his will. And I'm going to show you that his will will stand forever. So these will be the particular PowerPoints to show you what we're going through today. Micah chapter 6 verse 8. So that we can get an understanding what is the will of the Most High. Read. He has showed thee, O man, what is good. And what doth Adonia require of thee? But to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy Allahim. He have shown thee what is good, all right? To love justice and mercy, and to walk humbly with the Most High Ahaya, all right? He have shown thee what is good. Now, I'm gonna show you what is good. I'm gonna precept what is good. It's gonna be Romans chapter seven and verse 12, because a lot of people don't have the particular understanding what the Bible calls good. They think good is just having an emotional response to a feeling and say, oh, I'm a good person. I don't cuss at people. I don't do bad things. But I'm going to show you, according to the scriptures, what is good. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. And what? And holy, and just, and good. The commandments are holy just and good. So the Most High have shown us what is good. He has shown us to walk humbly with Him. He has shown us to keep His laws, statutes, commandments, and judgments. Alright? 
according to what it was written, according to what he has said, and we shall know his will. This is his will, that we should give according to what he has told us, to give our life as what? Living sacrifices. All right, that is the will of the Most High. Give you some more understanding on the will of the Most High. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. To bring forth this understanding on the will of the Most High Ahayah. Because first and foremost, if you don't identify the will, then you can't carry out the will. First identify what the will is, then use it practically to walk it out. Alright? Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Ahia and keep his commandments. And what? Keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. For this is the whole duty of man. It's the what? The whole duty of man. The whole duty of man is to fear Ahia and keep his commandments. This is the will of the Most High. So how can the Christian church teach you that the law is done away with? I'm going to show you what happened to those who claim that the law is done away with, not understanding that the law of sacrifice is done away with, and the law of sin and death is done away with. Okay, Paul was a Pharisee, and he was bringing forth, he was understanding the lingo, he was bringing forth understanding and having, being a master of the law. So if I talk to you about the law and you understand that I can say certain things to you and you will understand it. But if you have no knowledge of the law, period, when I say something to you according to the law, you can misscrew it or get it misconstrued. All right. So when Paul said we are not under the law, he was talking about the law of sacrifice. We don't sacrifice anymore. He was talking about the law of sin and death. Because according to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, this is the whole duty of man that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdens. Okay? Alright. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 and verse 23. Verse 21 through verse 23. Excuse me. Because we have to get some understanding. We know, we have identified that the will of the Most High is to keep His commandments, right? That's His will. By you doing this, it automatically makes you a son or daughter of the Most High. Because you, you, you portray those characteristics, those godly characteristics, because the Most High say, Be ye holy, for I am holy. The characteristics of a higher are being portrayed in you, and so therefore you are living out the Ruaka, through you, the Holy Spirit, Kodashi Ruaka. Okay? Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 through 23. Read. Not everyone that saith unto me, Adonia, Adonia, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. But what? He that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Many will say to me in that day, Adonia, Adonia, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, mm. and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Ye that work iniquity. See the Christian church, Jesus did. Jesus that, not even knowing that's not his name, but professing that they're doing this in what? The characteristics of the Messiah saying they doing this and they follow the anointed one. No. Alright? He said, get the hints. I never knew you. What did it say? Ye that work iniquity. Now, that word work in that particular scripture is G2038. It's G2038 and it comes from G2041. It means to toil as a task or occupation. Commit to do, labor, to minister, right? So ye that toils as a task, ye that does this as an occupation, ye that commits this, ye that labors, ye that ministers, right? Iniquity. That particular word, iniquity, is G458. 
It comes from G459. It means it legitimately, that is a violation or violator of the law, wickedness, transgression of the law, unrighteousness. So, ye that work into iniquity, ye that labor to bring forth unrighteousness, ye that minister to be a violator of the law, ye that work in unrighteousness. So you wake up every day like the elite, the so-called rule of the earth. They minister day and night. They toil, all right? They work as an occupation to bring forth a systematic corruption in the culture of Babylon so that it will be very easy for you to sin. They put pork in juice. They put pork in lotion. They put pork in all foods, systematically corrupting the whole society so that it will be easy for you to be a worker of iniquity. They toil so that you can be a worker of iniquity just like them, unknowingly, blindly, a worker of iniquity. So, now, and this is a direct contrast to the workers of light, the workers of good, the workers of the law, the children of light. To be a worker of iniquity is to be a child of the darkness. Direct contrast to the children of the Most High, the family of the Most High, and I'm going to show you what the children of the Most High and what the family of the Most High do according to the scripture. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12, verse 47 to 50. And this is going to give you some understanding of the will of the Most High. We know it is to keep His law to walk before our Allah high and humbly and to do that which is good, which is the law. It is just holy. The commandments are good. Read. Matthew chapter 12, verse 47 through 50. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven. Say that again. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. The, whoever does the will of the Father who is in heaven, Abba Allah Ahaya, the Father in heaven, Abba Nawa our father all right who has ever doeth his will the, the the mashiach said those are my mother my father and my brother he stretched forth his hand to the disciples and said whoever doeth the will of the most high that is my family so if you work iniquity you are a direct contrast to who i am because i am a keeper of the law all right i am a child of the light all right, if you're against that, you're against me. The children of light versus the children of darkness. The workers of iniquity versus the workers of light, which is the workers of the law, because the law is light. So, according to this particular scripture, you have to know thy master's will. You have to follow thy master's will, which automatically makes you a son or daughter of the Most High Ahadi, okay? And we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna go to Luke chapter four, no, Luke chapter six and verse 46. Luke chapter six and verse 46. Because like I just explained, if you do not follow the prescribed order of how the Most High have told us to follow, you're in direct transgression of the word of the Most High. And to transgress the laws and the words of the Most High is death. All right? So, Luke chapter 6, verse 46. Read. And why call ye me Adonia, Adonia, and do not the things which I say? Mm. So why you call me Master, Master? This is the Messiah. Saying, why you call me master, master, ruler, ruler, king, king, lord of lords, uh, uh, we know that's pagan, but for the Christians who don't know, who, who call him lord, lord, all right? 
Why do you call on him master, master, and do not what he say do it? He done told you, okay? St. John 14 and 14, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Right? And you do not keep his commandments. So how could you say you love him? How could you say you're in the will of the Most High? You're not. You're not. All right? We're going to directly precept that with St. John chapter 15, verse 14 through 15. Because he said, how could you say that I'm your master, your master, and you don't shema? Listen, hearken diligently unto the voice, all right, of the ruach, all right? The word is the, the, it's the spirit in this book, all right? You must follow the spirit in this book. Because the scripture says, a high is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Alright, so, St. John, chapter 15, verse 14 and 15. Read. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, mm. for the servant knoweth not what his Adonia doeth. Mm. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. All things he have what? All things that he has heard of his Father, I have made known unto you. Everything that the Most High told the Mashiach, he revealed it to the disciples. He revealed it to us in these last days because in past time, the Most High spoke through the Holy Prophets, through visions, through various ways, but in these last days, He has spoken to us through His Son, which is the Word. He has given us the what? The Ruach to be able to carry out the will of thy Master. All right? The will of thy Master. We are no longer servants. We are what? Friends, we are what? Family. Because we do those things which are pleasing to our Father out of a pure heart, out of love for Him. It is not that we love Him, but it's that He loved us first. According to what the scriptures say. Alright? Okay. So, now, we're going to precept that with James chapter 2, verse 23. James chapter 2, verse 23. Okay? Because we have to Shema. And according to the scriptures, if you listen, if you hearken diligently unto the voice of the Most High Power, all right, which was revealed by the Mashiach, the Word, then you are no longer servants, but you are friends. All right? The other scripture we read in Matthew, you do the will of the Father, you become what? His family. Okay? James chapter 2, verse 23. Read. And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed Ahiah, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of Ahiah. Wow. Abraham, Abraham, believed in what the Most High told him. It was imputed to him for righteousness. He became a friend of the Most High Power. You see that? When the Most High reveals something to you, His will, you carry out His will. You believe His will. You hearken, you shema to His will. By that, it will automatically translate you to be a what? A friend. To be what? Family of the Most High Power. A child of the light. Because He is the Father of light. Okay? Now, I'm going to read out of the Apocrypha right here. I'm going to read out of the Apocrypha to show you that the will of the Most High, when you believe it, when you follow it, you become a friend of the Most High. I'm going to the Wisdom of Solomon, verse 7 and 27. The Wisdom of Solomon, verse 7 and 27. And it reads, And being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of a higher and prophet. Talking about the Ruach, the wife of the Most High, she entering into holy souls, she maketh them 
friends of Ahia and prophets. So not only will you believe and will you follow the will of the Father, does it make you a son and a friend of the Most High? It also makes you a prophet, which is the mouthpiece of the Most High, which is the ambassador of the Most High Ahia. The spirit, the Ruaka. She reveals the knowledge to you. She gives you the script to follow the knowledge. She walks you and gives you the power to go through the motions because without the Ruaka, you will not be privy to the mysteries of the Most High Power. Only she is privy to those mysteries. And I'm going to prove that Wisdom of Solomon, all right? Chapter 8, verse 4. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 4. And it reads, For she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of Ahia and a lover of his works. You see that? So when you love the works of the Most High, when you love to keep His commandments, you have the Ruach in you. When you're being revealed things in these scriptures and showing you mysteries that are hidden from knowledge and from ages, things that angels wish to look into, the Ruach is revealing unto us His holy prophets in these last days. It is being revealed to us to know his will, to follow his will, to keep his will, to walk in his law, to love righteousness, to love justice, to do judgment, to walk humbly before thy Allah Ahaya. That is thy master's will. To know thy master's will. Okay? We're going to keep it moving. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 through 17. Alright? And this is going to reveal to you some more in depth about the will of thy master, okay? Because we have just read that through the Ruaka, she is the only one privy to the mysteries of the Most High, to give you the mysteries, to give you understanding. And then she turns around and what? Empowers you to walk out that will. Because tests, trials, and tribulations will come against you, but she will empower you to be able to walk through the motions, okay? 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Read. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Say that again. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Mm. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Mm -hmm. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. Right. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. He that doeth what? The will of Ahia abideth forever. He that doeth the will of Ahia abideth forever. Now, when you read 2 and 15, it tells you to love not the world because some people love the world. They love these holidays. They love Christmas. They love to watch Empire on TV. Madness full of sodomite. They love to watch all the wickedness that's coming through the hell box. They love it. They love the holidays. They love to go out and turn up. You're going to ask the most how to turn out that fire, but it's going to be turned up in the lake of fire. You can say turn up, but you ain't going to be able to turn out that fire. All right? So people love to, to walk the way of the world, the lust of the flesh, to be a whoremonger. Sodomites, all right? Females having multiple problems sleeping with them. Men not being righteous and dealing with their wives. Fornication, all right? Sexual immorality, they love it. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. I want this, I want that. Look how she look. I want to look like that. Look at her new shoes. I like them shoes. Look at that car. Look at the real. Ooh, 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 ooh. Your eyes, 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 eyes. See everything. Your eyes are lusting after everything you see. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. I got this. I got that. Look at my car. Look at my house. I'm doing this. Look at my clothes. Look at my shoes. The pride of life. 
these things will blind you from the will of the Most High. You will not be able to know thy master's will because you are blinded. The God of this world have blinded you. Now, we're going to close out with these last two verses. All right? We're going to close out with these last two verses. Isaiah 46 and 10. Isaiah 46 and 10. And we're going to show you because the will of the Most High stands forever. Forever. You know what that means? It means forever. There's nothing you can do about it. You can tell your mind this. You can tell your mind that. You can have in your mind, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. But guess what? The will of the Most High will stand. Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, mm. saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Mm. So the Most High tell us from the beginning what he going to do in the end. Do this book. The Most High has already shown us what he declares. And guess what? His counsel shall stand, and he shall do what he pleases. So it's just better for you to know the will of the Most High and walk in it, because you can't go against the grain. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Because the counsel of the Most High will stand for eternity. All right? No matter what you have devised in your heart, no matter what you've said in your mind, the Most High power will stand. Read. There are many devices in a man's heart. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Most High, that shall stand. Mm. So you can think what you want to in your heart, but nevertheless, the will of the Most High will stand. So Israel, know the Master's will, whether it be an individual will for you to do, according to the scriptures, because he have an individual will for me to do, he called me out, he called me out of the Christian church, he called me out of my camp, which I was a part of, to do his will. Not the will of man, but the will of the Father. Like Peter said, who is it to listen to? Is it profitable for me to listen to you or to listen to the Most High? Know thy master's will. Follow thy master's will. Love thy master's will. And with that, Israel, I want to say, Shalom.